This is Carl of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my Stone Cold Lock of the Century. All week. This Richie Incognito nonsense reminds me that no one should ever be humiliated or insulted by a bully. It's like my mom always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, shut your stupid trap, you little frickin' accident. This is why I was so disappointed to see this case of bullying down in Miami, with the media just hazing and humiliating and harassing poor Richie Incognito just because of a few harmless, racially motivated texts and a harmless pattern of vulgar voice messages. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and verbally condone Richie's actions, cause I'm told that a regional body spray manufacturer is gonna drop my endorsement deal if I do that. And I like the money Passaic Odor Blast gives me to yell at you people. But look, hazing builds teamwork. It teaches the players to work together to make sure nobody makes Richie angry. Cause sometimes a leader like Richie gotta step up and say the unpopular thing. Like, I wanna shit in your f***ing mouth. And then text that to someone. Richie understands that football ain't some 9 to 5 job. I mean, yeah, you punch the clock. But when the work day is done, you gotta bring that home and punch the wall. And then on the weekend, you punch your teammates. And then you carry that commitment onto the field and punch the referee. And after you're rejected for punching, you just keep punching anyone who gets in your way or annoys you no matter how much he begs for you to stop because it's a celebrity golf tournament for MS and he's just wanted your autograph and his kids are watching the weird wussy dolphins need to hope and pray that someone can seize this vacant leadership role left by Richie and brutalize and belittle and dehumanize the rest of the team into excellence this Sunday until that happens I'm afraid the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are gonna slap Miami's real mothers across their face as Carl's stole cold lock of the century. century. All week. All week.